I'm excited for this fight. You know, I'm excited as we see this. Three and two, Josh Sinako. One and one, Brian Eastman. Let's go up to Ladies the Ladies and gentlemen, this battle is scheduled for three three-minute rounds in the Legion Combat Sports 145-pound amateur division. Introducing first, fighting out of the Fremont Motors Blue Corner. He stands five foot ten inches tall. He weighed in at 148 pounds. He is a boxer with a one and one record in MMA from Vernon Hills, Illinois, and fighting out of Parker, Colorado, Brian the Beastman Eastman. And his opponent, fighting out of the KNB corners, out of the KNB right corner. He stands five foot eight inches tall. He weighed in at 145 pounds. He is a wrestler and a jujitsu fighter with a three and two MMA record. Fighting out of Scottsbluff, Nebraska, Joshua the Grizzly Sinako. All right, we are about to touch him up, folks, and get underway with our second bout of the evening. We got the hometown boy, Josh Sanako, as he gets ready to stand across the cage from Brian Eastman. We got a touch of the gloves, and the fight is underway. Oh, Big right hand wow. from Sanako. He wore it well, though. He wore it Leg well. kick gets taken down. We see some short elbow work from Eastman, some hammer fists. He's looking for a finish here early. Sanako's got to open up that guard and start looking for a sweep. I, I really, I enjoy the control and pressure uh, Eastman has on top. Hip positioning is fabulous, sir. Yeah, he's really doing good. He's Working for an overhook and an arm bar here. Let's see what Eastman does to defend. You know, when all else fails, I'm going to punch you in the mouth. Yeah, I mean, in fairness, Eastman... Big slam wow. there, and that's where, that's where you're going to get your arm. Yeah, that's when that's going to happen. Yep. I, I hate seeing young guys slam away, but look at the bloody mess yep. that Josh Shinako got left in in this one. That, it, you know, I, I that was just a, a lack of experience on Eastman's part. He's got to know not to pick up like that, especially because he had he had the armbar under control. It was almost dismissed. Unless, you're, unless your name is Ram Page Jackson, you shouldn't try and slam yourself out of a triangle I, choker and armbar. You know, how many times have we seen it go wrong? You know, look at Matt Hughes and uh, uh, Norton. Yeah. Remember, that was a great Absolutely. fight. That was a great Here we fight. go. You see you see uh, him trying to make space there, and that's what gave the room to Sanako to straighten out that arm and finish the tap. In fairness, Eastman, Eastman put on a very good show, but he that was his fault. That it was a mistake, that, yeah. and it shows it shows the mental lapse. Look at the damage he was able to do and the, the good hip control that Eastman had. You know, he was in a great position great there. Great position, I totally agree. For some old school ground and pound, and he obviously put it to work. Sanako did a good job of being patient, and when Eastman gave him that little bit of space, Sanako capitalized. Ladies and gentlemen, this bout draws yeah. to a yeah. close just 51 seconds into the first round. Your winner by armbar submission, Joshua, the Grizzly, I mean, that, well, that very well could be submission of the night. That was uh, that was well earned. Well earned. Down here.